we are back. As I mentioned earlier on Discord, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I actually had the urge to play this a little bit more. This isn't going to interrupt me streaming on Saturday. I'll still be doing this Saturday, but I felt like doing a, uh, a midweek stream. And this is probably going to be the best day to do it, because I've got work from 8 to 5 every single day, except for today and Wednesday. And Wednesday I'm going to be taking a final, so I need to be prepared for that. I've got one tomorrow as well, but I'm not as worried about that one. The last time I took a final for that guy's class, and he keeps it pretty consistent in terms of difficulty, it took me less than 10 minutes, and I scored a 98 on it, so I will be studying for it, but I've already got all my notes for that taken care of, and I've already looked them over a couple times, so I'm not too terribly worried. Uh, let's see, I need to turn my audio down a little bit. Let's try it right away. I'll mess with the audio and we'll be ready to go. Alright, we'll see how that turns out for my audio when I actually get to the point of it going back. Because sadly, there's no way to watch it in real time for me and hear it back. Okay. If the audio does need to be changed, then let me know. But for now, I will toss my iPad to the side so I'm not be getting distracted by it. Hey Away with you. I'm also going to turn it down a little bit on my end for the game audio so we're not getting too much reward. And we'll go ahead and get started here. Now, unfortunately, tomorrow my final is at 7.45 in the morning, so we're probably not going to stream for that long. I'm thinking like maybe two, two and a half hours at most. But I do want to play some more. And I'll talk about why I'm actually enjoying the game, I think in particular this time a little bit more, but let's go ahead and begin here. Oh, which fine. Don't need to mess with those TV settings, what are you talking about? So I think ultimately the big reason that I'm enjoying playing this, and definitely more than I have previously, I think it actually is because it's a three heart run. I think it's because there's so much junk to do, because this is a longer Zelda game for sure. It's not like Breath of the 100%ing Breath of the Wild or anything, but you know, by comparison to Majora's Mask or anything like that, it is definitely longer than some of the other three heart runs that I've done. Or games that have had three heart runs that I've done. I think it just eliminates so much that I have to do because, you know, things like pieces of art are no longer things I'm going after. It makes the game a lot more digestible as a result, like, way sections like that's how long a video could be if you were going to watch an lp of this game even if stuff was cut or fast forwarded it was probably going to be over 100 parts the odds of that were incredibly high yeah, portal, portal. That's great. we don't need to use any portals though i don't think i need any of these oh right you get the bridge back no, I don't pay attention to that. I, for whatever reason i don't remember putting this bridge back just the bridge of elden but yeah, way, way more digestible playing it like this than it is normally. And I'm glad I picked the right one because I could not remember. So. Found it. Yeah, let's take it. Wouldn't that be great if you could actually put in the wrong bridge? There's just like another one that's clearly way too large or doesn't match the design or clearly way too short. And so if you try to use it, it'll drop or something like that. <laughs> when it's up in the sky like that, it looks like a piece of, like, I don't know, it seems like something you would make, it or not make, but then, but like your Animal Crossing village, like another bridge to be able to get across the, uh, the river that's in your town, like in New Leaf. But 
honestly playing the game like this, where, like, honestly, we haven't really missed all that much in terms of what you would normally be getting at this point. We've got, like, four pieces of heart, and really that's about it. But even thinking ahead to how much faster things will go when you're not going for golden bugs, or you're not going for this or for that, or, you know, not going for the pose, for example, like, it does make you realize that the game's going to be a lot shorter, and I think that's one of the big gripes I have with the game normally is getting, that's getting taken out of the equation is it does feel a lot more digestible to play it this way. And I think because of how good the boss fights are, it actually will prove a challenge when we get to some of the tougher ones. I don't consider uh, the first two bosses particularly tough. Morpheal is kind of clunky, and that can make it tough as a result. But it'll be interesting to see how they go for, say, Arbiter's Grounds or uh, Snow Bridge or anything like that. Village. I will say, Kakariko is one of my favorite areas in Twilight Princess. I absolutely adore this area. Not not so much in the Twilight. I'm not big on the Twilight in general. The whole wolf thing is cool, and I like Midna, but I don't know. The Twilight areas look always kind of nasty, so. fighting mechanics and the health mechanics the way they are in this game, I do think I'm going to have to play a lot more carefully than I would in, like, say, Ocarina or Majora or even Wind Waker. Well, not even Wind Waker. Wind Waker is pretty easy. But I'm definitely going to have to play a lot more careful here, so... Because a lot of stuff does pretty high damage early on. Like, those dudes that I just killed, they do a full heart, so... That's 33% of your health if they hit you, assuming that you were at full when they hit you. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I'll start with the graveyard, so don't forget it later. Because there's some in the graveyard, there's some in the Goron area, and then there's some that are actually in Kakariko. Well, doesn't this look lovely? Man, whoever made this graveyard, they did not do a uh, very good job in getting things nice and organized. Okay, so you're not going on the ground like that. bad for anybody that got all the ones in Kakariko and then went all the way up to the top of the Goron area only to find out that there was the one they were missing. It was all the way back there. Oh, you broke their ceiling. I'm, eh, they probably won't mind. It's, it's probably fine. And surprise, here are all your friends. Well, almost all your friends. Hanging out with this weird looking girl that's just staring. Oh yeah, and Barnes. Yeah, I forgot about him. And of course, Jesus Kravitz, as NCS would call him. He does look like Jesus, though. Jesus with dreadlocks. Barnes reminds me a lot of like an older version of um, Monkey from Hot Wheels Acceleracers. He's basically Monkey in like 30 years. You know what that means? We're in a zombie apocalypse. Bogs. Look at my creepy eyes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're hiding out with kids, man. Maybe keep that kind of stuff to yourself next time. <laughs> he looks like a spider as he just crawls along like that. I mean, you're mostly fine in there as long as you keep quiet, then... 
you know, they're really not going to come after. They don't seem to actually come after anybody unless they see them or hear them or anything. So if they don't, then it's not a big deal. <laughs> it also makes his teeth look green, which is just that much funnier. Or more funny, rather. Torch so I can actually dash. Oh, thank goodness. Get me out of here, man. You're trying to give me the feels, and I just want to get these dang bugs. to get into Kakariko and get the, the shop open so I can actually spend some money here, you know, get some things that I want. Power. Namely, the Hylian Shield and the Hawkeye. Do you I don't really care about the Hawkeye and I don't use it that much. It's cool to have, but, like, probably sniping in the Arbiter's Grounds is really the only time I truly use it, but at the same time, it's still something. Because you really don't use your money for that much at the very start of the game, other than buying the Slingshot. It's not up until... Malamart opens that you really would buy anything else, and that would be the two things you'd get, and then you'd get uh, some bombs from Bard, that kind of thing. Hi. Oh, this isn't the building, it's far the south, but we'll start here. Get these things out of here. So how's everybody doing on uh, the day after Cinco de Mayo, if you celebrate then, or if you celebrate May the 4th and you're a big Star Wars fan? Uh, where's that? Oh. He, he went up there. Great. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I know for a lot of people... For me, this is finals week. I've only got two of them left, because two of them are take homes and they are both done. So that's good, at least. But I don't know, for some people, you still got a little ways to go, but you're, you're getting the home stretch. You're almost there. And if it makes you feel any better, May is the only month that I've got off of classes, because I've got a June class and a July class. So at least you'll be getting a longer break than I. Let me grab this. I know we can't carry it, but... Oh, right, because it's going to... Right, we were playing Skyward Sword uh, Sunday, and it's... we were playing it yesterday, rather, and so as a result, I forgot about that. It won't fit your wallet. What the actual crap, man? Crap! This is like one of the few places in Karko that you actually leave the way you came in. Most of the time you have to jump out somewhere. Get that out of here. Who's even gonna be able to get up to that pot to use it anyway? It's gonna be quite the headache to go and get it. How do we get into Malamar if I can remember you jump through a window? Oh no, you just dig down. That's right. Or enter, rather. Ah! Take that, sucker. Go mess with somebody else. <laughs> and 
enjoy this while you can. This is like the only time you can get back behind the counter at Malamar. From, from this point on, you're not gonna be able to. So, not like there's anything worthwhile back here. So that's about it. Just a little bit of money. Might as well get this out of the way now. That just basically leaves the. At least they don't make you watch the green room, I guess. I do love this little trapdoor effect here. Though. Like for whatever reason, trapdoors are bring out the kid in me of just like, oh well, if something comes and attacks you, you can just hide in your little secret secret tunnel here, and no one will be able to find you. There it is. And we are just destroying all kinds of stuff today. I mean, I know no one lives here anymore, but still. Hi. Yeah, that's all in here. Yeah, I'm done with my iron here. Just the one dude. Looks like that's the, the top area now. I don't think we can get to that one yet, but let's start with Barnes Bombs! We'll break his windows, he won't mind. Also, that glass just shattered like it was made of tissue paper. faster than the the silent realms though in Skyward Sword, which is a bit odd. We haven't gotten to that point yet in Icarus's playthrough, but I played it through several times, so I know what to expect from it. I'm looking forward to watching her play those. They're gonna be hilariously cringeworthy. As if her going through Skyview Temple wasn't cringeworthy with all the spiders because she hates them. Even more than I do. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go blow up a building. Collect stick. Collect fire. And cause a problem. What did you do? Oh, Sorry, Mr. Yeah, Rick. I'm not going to stay with you. I'm getting out. Aww. I guess she's not truly our mistress after all. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I wonder what the kids in bar, Jesus Kravitz and uh, his daughter Linda are thinking about all this. They're just hearing this mass explosion they're like, what was that? <laughs> yeah, that is how the cookie crumbles. It's also how the kids are wider collected, so... It's probably fine. Um, can I get out of this section, please? Thank you. You're making that very hard to do for some reason. Okay, let's get the last one before we go and then move on. Maybe it's because I know what I'm doing, but yeah, these definitely don't feel as long. Like, they, they don't feel like they take as long as they used to. Even compared to the second run through. The first one, these things were a pain. I hated doing these. It was something I had to sit down and do in, like, one play session, and that was all I was going to do in that play session. Oh, that was Alright, let's go make some Gorons. Hurry up and get my Hylian shield, man. Like, something about whenever you get all the collectibles in this area, between, like, the bombs, the Hawkeye, the Hylian shield, like, that's another point where the game really feels like it is starting to progress at, like, a good speed. I think it's probably initially doesn't feel that way, because it's like, oh, hey, you know, you, 
you conquered this dungeon, you beat a boss, you got a heart container, all this stuff, and then, like, cause you just got out of a toy before you did that, and now you're just going straight back in, you know? It just doesn't quite feel normal. Yep, there's another spirit up there. It's just uh, We're gonna ignore him. That is the one upside I will say to Silent Realms or whatever you want to call it, Twilight Realms. Most of the time you don't even have to talk to anybody to actually activate anything. There's the one that I can think of that we did in uh, Fair where you have to talk to the guy to make the bugs appear, but that's really about it. Most of them are pretty obvious what they are if you played the other Zelda games, and the Song of Healing is, like, that's a pretty well-known one, I think, by now. I'm glad the first one they pulled th from was, uh, was from Majora's Mask, though. I figured, whenever I first realized that they were gonna do that, I figured it was gonna be Zelda's Lullaby. It was almost assuredly the first one. But nope. sword in hand and find me. Yeah, I'll find you later. I actually don't remember offhand where that one spawns for the, the shield bash. But I'll show you right here. So. Oh, it does spawn there. Okay. I thought that was a later one. Yeah, I know where that is. That's at the Ordon Spring. Or not the Ordon Spring, but the, the very first Maybe that is the Ordon Spring, but the one where Ilya and your horse are at the start of the game. I might as well call her Epona. I say your horse because you can rename Epona, but it's still Epona, let's be real. Just because I changed the name to me, it's not Epona. It is a Pon Pon. Ooh, clickery. All those little clickers in the air. Ooh, four of them. Alright, let's do it. No, I didn't want to get all three of you. Alright, here we go. Makes that fourth one wall off. Take his ass first. He's gonna start screwing with you. Um, there is a way to get in there, correct? I was about to say, man, there's gotta be a way to get in there. Not that I don't trust myself, but I really don't trust myself. And these guys usually go on parts when they actually are killed, so I should be back up to three now. You see what I mean about how easy it is to get yourself down to low life? It's insanely easy. There's one of them. Oi! But 
No, 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 I don't want warp. I don't want warp. I'm good. That's what I was trying to do. All the tears of life for Elden. I think we can finally get this nasty, like, yellow orange color out of here. It's all sickly. Repla yeah, replace it with those nice blues and greens. Even as dusty as the village always looks, because seriously, it looks like it has no rain here at all. It still looks nicer like this. Now to the more important cutscene. <gasps> Man, why are you gonna be like that? Why are you shove calling over? As the demon child just waddles past. <laughs> actually super respectful towards Yugi of, like, thanking him for saving his brother at the end of the arc and all that. By the time he gets to Battle City, he just really doesn't give a crap about anything. It's a very interesting, uh, interesting part of the show. staring at me. Uh, don't like it when people stare at me. So anyway, they're gonna basically say, yeah, the Gorons have not become, or they're not peaceful anymore, and they used to be so peaceful. They used to live with us. Wonder what's going on. Yeah, I wonder. It's almost like you want me to go and check it out or something. Yeah, look at all those hearts. I mean, there's no point in me slashing the grass right now. I, I have no need for hearts. I have no need for money. I just like being able to run and slash at the same time. It's so nice. It's one of my favorite things about Twilight Princess is being able to do that. I get why Skyward Sword didn't keep that, but I at the same time wish they had. Because you've got other things to like increase your speed overall, like the stamina meter and whatnot. It's just something to think about. What they could have used was the stamina meter for this. Good lord. <laughs> Hello, Goron. I come in peace. I said, come in peace. 
What? No. No. I said I come in peace. I come in peace. Come in peace. Come in peace. as it were. Or if you prefer the more army version about face men. Oh. So yeah, now we gotta head back to Orden. It's like, man, we've only got two area like two big areas unlocked, and here you are immediately already thinking, yeah, I should go back to the first one. It's like, ugh, are you serious? Thankfully they give you a faster way to get there, but you can get your horse back. That's another reason Kikariko has such a nice, like, feel to it. Like, with the exception of Ilya, this is, like, where all your familiar faces come back that were lost, you know, in the village. So, like, you get your horse back, except for Ilya, you see all your friends again. I mean, it's just one of those things, it's always so nice to see your, your old friends in the Zelda game. It's like in Majora's Mask, when you find a pony at the ranch, and, like, it's one of the few times you see Link smile in the game, and Link runs up, because you get it's one of the few familiar faces that he knows. Everybody else might look the same, but that's just because, you know, there's limited sprites and they wanted to reuse them, but Pony's actually a character or a creature he knows. He's like, just so happy to see her. Let's go get those boots. Delicious boots. was used more. I really do. Like, I know it's used at the start here a fair bit, but, like, once you get the warping, there's almost no use for the horse. And the horse is actually pretty fast. It's just the warping is faster. This is, like, the fastest a horse has ever felt. Also, thank you for the follow, Mars. It's, a much, it's much easier to read that when it's in white font. But thank you for the follow. As a side note, in case you have to leave early for anything, we will be streaming more of this on Saturday. So, keep an eye out for that as well. If you want to know all my schedule stuff, the Discord link is below. Just, check, just click on the Discord thing and it should have the invite for that. Ooh, actually, before I forget, I know I'm also going to have to leave, but I do not want to Well, no, actually, no, I can't do this. Take sword of hand, right. Duh. Might as well get this now. And then he bites your head off. Trying some of the custom stage it. Nice. My friend's been messing around with Stage Builder a lot. He's actually made some pretty good stages. Like, genuinely really good stages. I've not touched Ultimate in a while, though. Yep, I'm ready to learn it. Alright, last time I did a jump tag. Let's go a little fancier here. Second skill is the shield attack. I'm I'm not big on this one. Unfortunately, you need this one to set up for the helm splitter, so like you kind of have to have it, even if you know they weren't in a certain order. 
It's easy to get set up, but this one seems like it never works the way it should. It's a lot less finicky in Skyward Sword. It always seems to work whenever I want it to in Skyward Sword, but in this one, not so much. Also, I've never used it to reflect an enemy's attack, I don't think. She's so happy, yeah. There we go, there's that shield bash. So that will leave what? Uh, backslice, Helm Splitter, Mortal Draw, the one I can't remember the name of, and the Great Spin Attack. Must be a top of the stages. Yeah, I know. People are like super creative. Like, with a lot of fandoms, like Brazil is a good example of that. It's amazing how creative people are. I wish I was that creative, but I'm not even close. I'm a good writer, but I am not an artist. I cannot draw to save my life. Man, people are just insanely impressive. I did actually come back through here earlier, uh, last episode, and I couldn't find this guy. I was gonna, like, talk to him before I left for Elden, but I couldn't find him. I did it after, uh, after I beat the first temple. Yeah, it's good to see you again, my man. I don't know where you were hanging out. Probably at the bar getting a drink. He might have actually been in time. Well, no, because that part's cut off by the, the twilight as well, so clearly not. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, Link gives him that look. It's like, dude, don't be like that. But, like, it's only fair he cares about his daughter, too. Like, of course he's going to be worried about her. That's not to say he doesn't care about the rest of the kids, but obviously, you know... Alright, now it's time for the, uh, the interesting part of the game, I think is the polite way to put it. You wanna hear more? Uh, not really, but I kinda have to. As I crack open this drink, first fellow pushes foot outside the arena wins. It's a Mountain Dew, by the way, so you know I'm completely annihilating my voice. It's actually one of the classic Mountain Dews, though, that has Mountain Dew throwback made with real sugar. It's basically, you know, the proper ones. They're quite nice. Alright, so you can grab with A, strike, and sidestep. Which is basically tackle, sissy slap, or dodge. It's just a rock, paper, scissors effect. Pretty dang simple. But I bet if you're watching the stream, you probably already knew that. But Unfortunately, because you're doing rock, paper, scissors against the computer, it's pretty much random if you win this or not. And that goes for all the ones that you... Because it's not sumo wrestling unless A, you kick your leg high and B, you're not wearing a shirt. Oh, dude, don't start with it like right across the butt cheek of that old dude. Did not need to see that. There's only one way to win this effectively, even though I said it's random, and that's to just slap the crap out of your opponent. Just keep slapping, it will work like 90% of the time. Mostly it just looks funny, actually, but, you know, whatever works. It seemed to work there. Now fight me as if you're fighting one of the Gorons. Again, this is completely random, so they just make you do it a second time. I love how his fists just unclench, they just like... Right back to the way they were. Yeah, now you can take on those Gorons, except he actually can't, because though is a cheater, this is the only way he actually beat the Gorons. It's with these. Man, the minute I saw these after like on my first playthrough, I was like, oh no, not the iron boots, and, like not these again. <laughs> you know, just like, oh man, this is not gonna be good. I still don't care for them. There's some cool, like, ways they're used, but you have to walk around a lot, and of course, that's understandably going to slow your movement, so I don't like that part. Good ideas, I just think, like, for, for something like the Iron Boots, honestly, the less it's used, the better. Like, I understand why it's kept in, but, like, 
having the iron boots is not going to ever equate to doing something quickly. Hardly ever. But they do some cool puzzles with, you know, not that are not just underwater ones. So now we got the dang boots, let's get back to, uh... excited about. It just doesn't work for me in that game as well. I'm glad you two are having this conversation just in the middle of the road. I mean, I guess they've been cooped up inside all this time, so they probably wanted to go out and get some air, but... Oh, no! <laughs> and Beth just stands there because the plot lands on <laughs> Such a badass thing. After all the crap, I mean Beth, it's mostly Tallow, not Beth in particular. But after all the crap the other kids give him, he still like risks his own life. To save someone who he considers a friend, even if they don't consider him a friend. Like that's crazy. He's such a cool dude. <laughs> something I will give this game is like there are points where it actually does show more emotion than just robot I know in the older games like anything well pretty much anything prior to this not all of them but most stuff like Ocarina he feels like a robot a lot I still think Skyward Sword does it better but this is like this is a drastic improvement from Ocarina and Majora in terms of personality for me I should, I should drop it in the chat later. I probably will drop it in chat later. Uh, somebody did, like, a fan-made video of, like, a better version of getting the Kokiri Emerald and the Deku Tree talking to him as he dies. Uh, and it's, like, it's got a bunch of dramatic errors, but in terms of, like, the Link's characterization and personality, holy really crap, it's good. It's really good.
went completely limp. Thankfully, I believe we still have a fairy from, uh, from earlier in the game, so even if I do lose all my health, I should be, uh, should be fine on that point. Ta! You missed, sucker! No, they just wanted to look epic. And that other one is already on fire. I mean, I thought they were trying to make it look epic and all, but like, eventually the wood would just fall apart after burning for so long. That's kind of how it works. shots from this game here. This is such a good shot. It looks so cool. Like, seriously, Nintendo, make an amiibo of that. Make it look really nice. That'd be amazing. They probably already have made an amiibo of that. Yeah, everyone's fine. Except for you. Demon Child is there too, but we're not going to acknowledge him. Mostly because he's creepy. <laughs> this part right here where she shakes her head, it's like a dog shaking off water. Watch this. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's Talking about the Triforce of Courage, man. or anything he's just well he did collapse from exhaustion but it was like just the relief of knowing that somebody else that he hasn't even met before just that he can help other people and that the Gorons will be okay is enough for him to be able to his body to relax enough to just let him go back and sleep and re uh, relax and rest so that's just such a powerful scene right there like if you have to build if you had to pull like a top three most powerful scenes from this game, that's definitely in there for sure. I mean, sure, you've got the ones with Midna at the end of the game, but like that would also be in there. Hundred percent would be in there. Uh, Demon Baby, there you are. Hello, Demon Baby. Don't you dare just take things. That's my valuable merchandise. Why don't you pay for it? I decided to take on this unmanned shop. Fine. I suppose I can part it. You're the one that put up the price, dude! Don't even give me that! And just like that, we've already gotten the best shield in the game. Oh yeah. I don't remember if the Hawkeye spawns immediately. I'm going to assume probably not, because you probably need the dungeon item, but... Even if it did, I don't want it right now, I'm not going to worry. Actually, you know what? I will check because we're. I do want to leave enough room for me to pick up money. And even though I've got some, a little bit more can hurt. How much is the red potion, my man? 30. Eh, yeah, I'll pay 30. 
Not we're gonna need eight parts worth of replenishing, but because we've also got the uh, the one with the milk in it. Actually, get that off the uh, get that off the screen just in case I hit B by accident. I'd really rather not do that with something like that. Honestly, in this case, the milk's probably would overall, and not this case, but overall, it would be better. Can I get bombs at this point? Because I honestly do not remember. Watch it be like 80 rupees or something where I'm just not being able to afford it. No, there's nothing in here. Alright, that's fine though. I don't think you actually have them for Goron or for the Goron mining area. I think the only things you take in are the boots and the uh, and the shield. I think you get the bombs afterward, which is pretty rare in a Zelda game to get the uh, the bombs after getting the bow. Because spoiler alert, it's the bow that you get in here, but. It's pretty weird. Like most, of, I can't think of any other Zelda game off the top of my head where you get the bombs after you get the bow. Usually, you get the bow beforehand. At least, like the main titles. I'm not talking about like Four Swords Adventures or anything. But like Ocarina, you get them pretty early. The bow you don't get to. You're an adult. Uh, Majora's Mask, you can get them like in the second three-day cycle, pretty dang easily before you get the bow that's in the first dungeon. Just my feet, I don't need those for anything in quarters. Plus the guys don't actually damage you, so. Which is good, because I'm very bad at baiting the geysers. That's dude! I was trying to pick up words! Here you are interrupting my with a cutscene here, I'm trying to pick up hearts. He's like, get on my back, brother. Someone do a hack of this. Where all the Gorons look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It'd be perfect. Based on how angry they are, they'll all be Raphael. Every single one of them will have the red mask. Wait, I always forget about this part. Yeah, let's wait for these to stop. Coming on down to try and burn this. shield attack it, all you have to do is just have your shield out and you're defending. That's all it is. Hi. Dude, stop that. I was like, B, 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 B,
I'm getting really tired of those things. So if I wanted random things to draw from the sky and kill me, I'd be playing Smash right now. some last time, and I'm just going to say it again for the heck of saying it. It's amazing how many different sound effects there are for Link walking, depending on what he's walking on. Whether it's grating, dirt, grass, whatever. I'm going to go see the Elder, whether you like it or not. Can't tell me that didn't look cool. Enough. Hey. Should have said that in Orin's voice, but nah. This guy with the saggy boobs is nowhere close to Orin. Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. You're the little one, you don't even come up to their shoulders. Outsiders not allowed unless. Mm. <laughs> that smile. It looks like a banana peel. Yeah, I'm ready. You do have to fail this on your first try, by the way. Seriously, they could not have made those man boobs any more disgusting. They really couldn't have. <laughs> and that Link is strong and fit, like at least he didn't have to take off his shirt this time for whatever reason. He did the first time, but not against the... Uh, whatever. So yeah, pick whatever you want here, because it's not actually going to matter in this first fight. You're going to get sent flying. You do not stand a chance. Try again later. Alright, how about now? Mm -hmm. I ate my Wheaties and I'm ready. Oh, no, you got me. Oh, no, he's learned. He's adapted. Are you serious? He got it all three times? Freaking rock, paper, scissors. I can't believe that of all things. Try again later. Well, I'm trying again now. Just because you happen to pick rocks mm -hmm. twice in a row and then pick paper does not mean I'm scared of you. Yeah, with how low he's squatting, he'd probably use some paper. He's like the guy in Majora's Mask. Okay, come on now. Four times in a row of you getting that chance. Make that five. Six. Six times in a row! He got it right six times in a row! Are you serious? Being powerful is nothing special, brother. You just have to be lucky, mm -hmm. like me. Sidestep that way. 
Oh, I got you now. I got you. You jackass. Get out of here. I know for you to get lucky six times in a row. That's stupid. I've never had that much of a problem with this. Six times in a row. What the actual heck? You two let the young warrior pass. He worked hard to get those lucky hits. Quite literally. I guess that's the thing about luck. Even for Goron Elders, it runs out eventually. Goron Mines. I keep calling it Mining Facility, but I think I'm thinking of Lineru Mining Facility. From, uh... Skyward Sword. Also, I do agree, I do agree that the, uh, the state of Boulder and Brawl is not near as good as this one is. Again, I haven't messed around with it, but my friend has, and he has told me about all the stuff they've added, and yeah, it sounds way better. chest down there, and it's probably the map. Is there any Zelda dungeon where they give you the compass before they give you the map? Like, assuming that you don't skip the map, or ideally you're supposed to be getting the map first. I'm trying to think if there's any dungeon that does that. Actually, this is probably a key. It is a key. I'll take a key. Key's also nice. <laughs> I thought you were so special. You were exempt from being destroyed by me. Hard. All right. Jump at an angle, but 
but you don't actually have to. You almost do, though. There's a chest in here, and I'm almost equally certain that it's a piece of art, so I will be avoiding that. Again, I might have to pull up the guide for the temple just to make sure I don't accidentally pick up the heart piece. But no, otherwise I'm not using a guide, it's only to make sure I don't pick up pieces of heart. I remember where some of them are, but not all of them, so as a result I don't want to go around accidentally get myself a full heart or something somewhere. Yeah, I think we'll come back to that later. Let's move swiftly on then and get part of the boss key. Actually, this might be the map here. Oh yeah, this is the map. The actual Goron's here, the key. Duh! We haven't played this in a long time. Don't mind me coming in here and ransacking all your stuff. Fine. Man, this guy looks like he has been smoking a lot of weed. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get there when I get there. Oh, I actually can't swing my sword in these rooms, that's right. Well, I can still smash your pots. In the vain attempt that I'll get money. Which seems to be a giant goose egg outside of the, uh, the chest with the 20 in it. I think Uku's in this room somewhere. It may not be this one, but he's in one of the elder rooms. Yeah, he's right there. We're gonna ignore him, though. I want to keep him out of the, uh, out of the loop for as long as I possibly can, just as a joke. Because normally you do pick him up, and he's just the, uh, classic. You can return to the start of the dungeon if you need to by using him. Nice. 
nice because walking on this just getting into the door is already incredibly slow, so they'll not be slowing it any further by doing that. We've been in this room before, thanks for reminding us. And yes, there are some enemies there. <laughs> Don't make it seem like it's all that big a deal. This is Dungeon 2, man. The kids must off. They've been off for a while. Those sticky kid gloves. <laughs> Actually, there might be another underwater chest there. 
No, that was the one I opened. Okay. The inside of it's kind of a reddish brown color, which is what the smaller chests look like, so I thought for a split second it might have actually been one that I did not catch. Hey! Uh -huh. Though I did just see another chest. That's what I'm doing here. shooting at you so you have to avoid them the whole time, but it's not, like, Forsaken Fortress level of bad. Sometimes in the big chests and sometimes they're on the small ones. The one we picked up earlier in this dungeon was in the big chest. Ah, yeah, I remember this one. It's a big old monstrosity. like really excited to see his grandparents at Christmas but it's only because he knows he's gonna get like you know 20 bucks or something and then only gets 10 he's like what uh, respect your elders kids because one day you'll be the elder one day you'll be like me and you'll be old you'll be in your mid 20s and you'll be old Alright, that'll 
That'll make up for it. We'll count that as part of his room. And then he can break even. Man, just four hearts that you don't need. I only have like five heart containers at this point. Like, what do you those hearts for? If I can do it with three, you can do it with five. It's not that hard. Alright, here we go. Mini boss time. I guess I can break these since we're not gonna come back to this section with probably all hearts. Every single one of them. Wow, that's really bad. Alright, here we go. I actually love this mini boss fight. Honestly, this should have been the boss fight. This would have been the boss fight. But... your butt burnt in the lava three separate times. But at least it made for a cool mini-boss, so... I'll forgive it this one time. And also, because more importantly, it gives us a very good item. A Zelda staple, as it were. I don't think there's any Zelda game where the bow has not been available. We're not counting like CDIs or anything. But I don't think there's a game where it hasn't shown up. Even it's even in the first one, so. Actually, it may not be in Zelda 2, I don't think about it, but. I don't know, I'm not very well versed in Zelda 2. I beat it once and I have not touched a season. It's been a long time since then. Sixty. It's like, oh, that's a fair bit, but you still might run low. And then when you have ninety-nine, you're like, how in the world am I going to use ninety-nine arrows? How in the world will that happen without me restocking at least accidentally? Another yellow. Take that. 
Take the heart as well. Got some problems going around the thing, apparently. Last but not least, a chest with 50 rupees. I'm pretty sure this is a purple. Yep, purple ripple. I can't have the pelts of the uh, the enemies we've been killing, the giant lizard things. Never noticed that before. Yeah. 
But it won't fit my wallet. What? Ah, oh, of course. Of course I had four too many rupees. Because I picked up that blue rupee. Ah, oh, because I picked up that blue rupee. Otherwise I would have had just barely enough space. Now we've got to leave it here because we can't do anything else. Like, I don't know. Put four rupees in there and take out the purple one. Well, that would make, make too much sense. We can't be having that. Classroom's up there, so I need to go north a bunch. Man, I can't believe that. Four rupees too much. Had I not picked up that five, I'd be at 299, and at this point, the five that I just picked up, that would have put me at exactly, well, not exactly where we were at. pretty good hidden passageway right here. You wouldn't think coming back here that you, you figure you'd just go through the exact same door you already did, but no, this is... If you're not paying attention to the map, then you're focusing on this pretty good puzzle. If you've got the map and compass, you're clearly going to realize, oh yeah, if I go left, then I'm going the wrong way.
staple thing for Zelda to do is to put at least in newer Zeldas and the new ones. Anything past well anything like Ocarina and on, so any of the three D ones really pretty commonplace of a fair right, for the boss. But oh well. I cannot believe we've only dropped twenty five frames and we've been streaming for an hour and forty one minutes. That's actually very good. If that sounds like a lot, it's 0.0% right now, so it's probably 0.001 or something like that, but I'm impressed it's only dropped 25, that's very rare. Like, usually we'll drop something like 0 0.1, 0 0.3, something like that total. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen that number that long, that long time. Although, when he's chained up, oh, he's chained up. Just a one phase thing, it'll take three rounds. Pretty dang easy. I mean, it's not the easiest second boss in the game. I still say King Dodongo holds that right for the 3D Zelda's. He's pathetic. You can kill him in two rounds. Midna. Link. Opona. Yep, one more. And you can top to Mr. Flat Top here, but I'm not gonna bother. We'll leave him to take a nap. It's rude to, you know, it's rude to wake someone up if it's taking a nap unless you have a really good reason. And right now the building's not on fire, no one's dead, so 
I say it's fine. Though I do agree, we should save our game. We've not done that in a little while, so let us do it. Four, four hours and twenty minutes. Four twenty plays it on our, our current progress. All we had to do was smoke some weed, and just like that, the first two dungeons down, done. Colin's back to normal, yay! We actually didn't spend very long in that dungeon, it was... If I had to guess, we probably didn't spend more than, like, what? It couldn't have been 30 minutes. Like, not any more than 30 minutes, I don't think. Oh, don't play that music, you know I like that song, it's so beautiful. Because it's Ilya's theme, but it's such a nice... It does sound like a lullaby, it really does. smile. You know he's gonna smile. Yeah, look at him. It's like he, in this game, this guy was sort of like, he's dopey at times, but it's like in a good way. Link is, that is. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we can fully get Ella, Ilya back to normal. Yeah, you better take care of those kids, Jesus Kravitz. So let's see, 265 rupees. I believe at this point the Hawkeye is now available, so let's grab that. We should have enough money to get this and the bomb bag, so we might as well grab both. No, it is not there yet. Okay. Well, then no need to worry about it. We have plenty of money for bombs, though. See, now that you get the bombs and the arrows this close, there's a ton of stuff you pick up normally. There's a piece of heart that you would go... You blow that up for and then get the Gale Boomerang. Then there's another spot you blow up and go around the back side of this and use the Iron Boots to go down and get another one. There's a ton of heart pieces you could get with just the bombs and arrows and Boomerang alone. Like, between those three items and the Claw Shots, like, that's where you get the majority of your, uh, your heart pieces by using those in some manner or, or fashion. Oh. What's this? You ain't got a bomb bag for carrying bombs, huh? Got a special offer going right now. A premium bomb bag kit, which comes with a bag of bombs, just 120 rupees. Heck yeah. Yeah, you can also make bomb arrows, which is amazing. Nice little Link's Awakening uh, staple there. Yeah, no, I don't want any more. Well, hey, we're up in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you just drop on any time. Dude, when do you sleep? You're the only guy that mans the store. You gonna get Beth to take over whenever you're, uh, whenever you're going to sleep or something? I don't know. Like, all the other kids kind of have a purpose. Like, you know, Colin's the person that, like, makes sure that other people stay healthy. Uh, if you talk to Tallow, he's, like, way up here keeping watch. Mallow runs the shop. Beth doesn't really do anything, though. It's kind of interesting. Which brings me to one of the points I wish they had done for this game, for Kakariko. I wish the town could have basically been rebuilt. I would have loved to have seen that, because you get the Gorons to come back, you have, like, the kids that you free, you get the bomb shop and Malabar to open. I would have loved to see it, like, get restored to a full, proper, full town. Like, be even better than Castle Town, maybe. It would have been really cool to see that. It just never happens, so. It's a bit unfortunate. Demon page 
pay attention to that one. Uh, Kakariko, that's just about new shop. And then the bombs. This is just about the melee. Please do not flee. Yeah, I mean, you can. It stops you from moving, so I don't know why that would be an issue. Yeah. At the very least, grab one of them so I can get the upgrade of the wallet. I won't be stuck holding 300 rupees for the entire game to get at least something. Screw you, Weavers. That's for all the times you've messed me up in the of time when I'm going through the desert. Jerks. And destroy the bridge. I think they also dropped some dudes as well, am I correct? They do. This is the first time you actually have to, well you don't have to fight them right now, but this is the first time you can fight them as a human. First... No, okay. Sometimes when you break those pathways, you'll get a... Uh, some rupees for it, so I'm gonna check and see if they're ready. Oh, I see some money there. Yeah, nice, 40 rupees. These are actually a little bit harder to fight as a uh, human. Into the toilet? Yeah. Let me in. I gotta go. Actually, because it is Sunday night, so some of you got class. Or no, it's Monday night rather. So some of you have class in the morning, and 
it's 9.30 here, and if you're in a later time zone, then of course it's even later, so I think we'll call it a night here, so we'll find a raid target after this cutscene is done, and I save and quit. Aren't you That also means that we'll be dealing with the, uh, the third and final section of doing the Tears of Light on Saturday, so we'll have to worry about that. I'll keep it on a yes right now, so we can at least... You can enjoy the shot of Wolf Link's butt, at the very least, while we find a raid target. Hey, 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 I see you there. I pulled my YouTube page and then I got distracted by a bat that wanted to kill me. But either way, as usual, if you're new here, you can of course check any of my stuff down below to get links to anything else to be notified when I go live. All that good stuff. Hey, Luke streaming, nice. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Good choice. The second one, mind you. Since I have not seen Luke on in a long while, we will raid him. He is a he does some pretty cool stuff. He is a very talented musician, a very talented gamer. Definitely give him a uh, a follow if you've not before. We've raided him many a time, but show him some love. And I will see you guys uh, midway through the week for Dragon Quest Builders on Wednesday, in theory. Uh, might do something Friday, depending. And I will see you Saturday for more of this. Uh, we will not be doing... Ouch. We will not be doing Skyward Sword next week, um, because Icarus is going to be busy with something. But I'll let you guys know that more in advance on Saturday. Until then, see you guys next time. Also, hello, Kellner. We're about to go raid, uh... We're about to go raid Youngtown, so I'll actually re... redo that real quick. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, I will see you guys in a couple weeks for... or a couple weeks? A couple days for Dragon Quest Builders. More of this on Saturday, and then potentially something on Friday. We'll kind of see how it goes. It's a... <laughs> A bit of a, a timing, but you happen to be coming up right now for for this, but I do appreciate the raid, even though we're about to end off for the night. So, see you guys in a little bit. Hmm?